What's up, family? Today, we're going on a trip, on an adventure, on a whole freaking expedition. Where, you might ask? To a part of an ocean that is way deeper than you think. So deep that I can't get there with these unicorn floaties. So deep that your ears start to pop just like your mouth does when you eat your Pop Rocks candy. So deep that if you get there... <laughs> You'll be oofing real quick. Are we gonna survive this little swim? I don't know. Guess you're gonna have to watch the video to find out. But before we start today's video, I need you all to smash that like button as hard as you can. Hit that like button with your pinky finger just in case you don't have one after this video. You might lose it swimming. Let's get this video to 10,000 likes, family. I know we can do it. And if we do, we might just go on more fun trips like this one. If you took the highest point on land and submerged it, you would still have mm -hmm. more than a mile between you and the deepest point in the oceans. Oh la la! That means the deepest point of the ocean is way flipping bigger than the tallest point on land. Whoa! The oceans harbor 99% of all living space on Earth <gasps> and have enough water to fill a bathtub that's 685 miles long. And I still don't know how to swim? Might be a problem. Imagine having a bathtub that's 685 miles long. Wait a sec. Isn't that just what pools are? Giant bathtubs? Dang it, tech insider. Why you gotta be confusing us? For scale, here's a human. Aww. And here's a blue whale, Ooh. the largest animal on Earth. Yeah, he's blue massive. Blue whales usually hunt at depths of around 330 feet within the well-lit zone of the ocean. The well-lit zone? Is that the party zone? The VIP area of the ocean where all the whales talk smack about humans? Because we're not cool enough to get down there? Dang, this is like high school all over again. At 831 feet, we reach the deepest free dive in recorded history. <gasps> Okay, I was lying. I guess humans can go that far. Down here, the pressure is 26 times greater than at the surface, which would crush most human lungs. Ooh. Okay, I double take that back. I guess I was right in the first place. Not only are our feelings getting crushed by these whales, apparently our lungs be getting crushed too. But whales manage it, diving to a max depth of 1,640 feet. Oh, where yeah. They hunt giant squid. Just to flex on at us, 2, right? 2,400 mm -hmm. feet, we reach the danger zone for Whoa. modern nuclear attack submarines. What? Any deeper, and the submarine's hull would implode. Uh. 2,722 feet down is where the tip of the world's tallest building, the uh. Burj Khalifa, would reach. If it was flipped upside down and thrown in the water, yeah, then it would reach. We've now entered the Midnight Zone. <gasps> the Midnight Many Zone. Many animals down here <gasps> can't see. Oh. Like these eyeless shrimp at 7,500 oh. feet who thrive oh, near scalding hot underwater volcanoes. Ew. At this depth. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Did they just say underwater volcanoes? How is that even possible? I need answers. Just when you think the world is already filled with dangerous and scary things that can make you oof at any second, the ocean is... Oh, oh, wait. Let me just tell you about 2,000 more ways that you can fall to your ultimate doom. Or drown to your ultimate doom. Or burn to your ultimate doom in water? Oh, man, I'm confused. At this depth, Temperatures are just a few degrees above freezing. What? But the waters around hydrothermal vents can heat up to 800 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, 9,816 feet is the deepest any mammal has been recorded swimming. Whoa. The Cuvier beaked whale. Cuvier beaked whale? Why does that sound like a caviar spread that I would eat on top of my cracker? I mean, if it's tasty, I'll eat anything. Even a Cuvier beaked whale. So that boy better watch out. I might not be able to dive down there, but that don't mean I don't know how to fish. But not even the Cuvier beaked whale could explore the RMS Titanic, Ooh. which rests at a staggering depth of 12,500 feet. Yowza. The pressure is now 378 times greater than at the surface. Ah. Yet you can still find sea life like the fangtooth, oh. hackfish, and Dumbo octopus. Aww, a Dumbo octopus is so cute. Family, comment down below what your favorite sea animal is. Mine are seahorses. And why do all the animals at the bottom of the ocean gotta be the most crazy? They be looking like they just stayed up five nights in a row to study for a really important test for school that they're probably gonna fail anyways. The pressure's on. And at this point, I can't tell if it's the pressure from school or the pressure from being under this deep, deep, dark water. Both equally terrifying. At 20,000 feet is the Hidal Zone. Hidal Zone? Area designated for the ocean's deepest trenches, Whoa. like the Mariana Trench. Mariana Trench? Aren't they a band? Not only is the ocean sketchy, there are also copycats too. And there aren't even any cats in the ocean. Gosh, dang. If you tipped Mount Everest into the Mariana Trench, 
its summit would reach down to 29,029 feet. Whoa, that's so that deep! Still doesn't come and family, scientists also say that there are still thousands of species in the ocean that we have not discovered yet. Yeah, that means different types of aliens, squalians, evil creature, monster things, things that will probably eat us. So if nobody's ever told you to get excited for the future, now's your time! How can you not get excited about getting oofed by a 5,000 pound whale? So fun! Ooh. Ready? <gasps> Let's die. Oh! Right now, okay, family. We're we really going now. Driving here. <gasps> Fish and marine animals abound, and hey there, swimmers are waving at us. But we won't be staying Get here lost, for long. swimmers! Bye bye. We don't need at you. We're on a trip. Feet, there's a whole we have new purpose. world opening before your eyes. Shallow coral reefs are standing <gasps> beautifully, Whoa. not far from the shore. And hey, there are people here again. It's scuba divers this time, though. I feel like scuba divers in the ocean are similar to bikers on the road. They're everywhere. You always gotta look out for them because you're bigger than them and can probably hurt them. And they're really freaking annoying because they're everywhere. And you gotta look out for them. It's like, buddy, just let the cars and submarines do their things and get the heck out of the way. You know what I mean? Water pressure isn't kind to divers without special equipment. Mm, another sign you should be in a submarine. Is the depths where we say goodbye even to recreational scuba divers. Ooh. It's the maximum allowed for them. Take care, guys. Take care, scuba divers. We won't <sighs> miss ya. Like, literally, we might not miss ya because we might hit ya. Cause you're everywhere. 200 feet, and here's the first orca. Orca? <gasps> oh, a giant whale. Of almost every sea and ocean in the uh, world. Did you know <gasps> that they're the apex predators, by the way? No, I didn't know that. they have no natural enemies, and no one can take them down. Nobody can take them down? As in nobody can hurt them even if they tried? These orca whale things have a monopoly on the whole ocean. That ain't good for business. These whales have a lock on the ocean, just like Amazon has a lock on the whole world. They powerful. And... I don't know if it's in a good way. Uh oh. At 230 feet, we meet whale sharks. Ah, the largest whale sharks. Fish species. Those sound scary. Up to 60 tons. And they're oh. also quite long livers. Well, yeah, I guess their livers are long at that. But actually, it's about their life expectancy. How long? They can live about 130 years. <gasps> 130 years? 130 years of terror. Oh, wait, we don't live in the ocean. But the poor little fishies and little shrimps that live in there who have to constantly live in fear. That's not fair. Now, look outside. If you're a scuba diver, it's a real pro. Because at 330 feet, they'll have to be very cautious not to get decompression sickness. I thought it they're not allowed down here. Whoa, glowing surface. lights. And glowing lucky, fish lights. You can also see a giant Pacific octopus. Ah. It dwells in cool water starting this deep and going down as far as 6,600 feet. Okay, why is and this video gonna give me nightmares? The dark part of the ocean. Oh no, at the dark. Feet, just 1% of the light oh. from the surface reaches us. Oh. While the rest is absorbed by water. Everything that's deeper will get darker and darker still. Okay, I officially think that this is the start of a horror movie. Getting sick from the pressure, having no light to be able to see. Oh man, we're about to get jump scared. I can feel it. And if I do, one of these fishes are gonna have to pay. I know they don't technically got any money or nothing, but maybe they can pay me in fish coin. Oh look. At about 660 feet, there's a giant oar fish oh. circling our submersible. Perfect. These he looks are delicious. To be the source of all sea serpent sightings oh. and also a lot of alliteration. A sea Sometimes serpent? They swim up to the surface and freak out sailors and swimmers. Yeah, freak out sailors and swimmers? It's a snake fish. How could you not get scared? Like, jeez. These fish can reach Ew. 36 feet in length. Enough That's to scare actually the disgusting. heck out of me, for example. Okay, now we're at 980 feet. That and is deep. Wait, what's that huge and gangling thing? Oh, it's there? crabs! Oh, I get it. It's a Japanese spider crab. Japanese Why spider spider, crab. You ask? Well, just look at those legs, and the Ew. answer will oh, come to you without oh, further. Oh, excuse me, I'm just gonna. Uh, I just need a minute to. Uh, I swear I'll be fine after I. Uh, By the way, there's almost nothing more to them than uh, legs. The body of such a crab is normally just one and a half feet across. Boy, they the lanky. Now, <laughs> at 1,640 feet, you're going to see the last of the blue whales. Well, there's still really whales the here. Perfect. I mean, that's the deepest they can swim. Oh. They don't really need to dive that deep for food, which they have in abundance in shallower waters. But uh. they still can. 
I guess it's just for the sake of showing how awesome they are. Yeah, just After to flex all, on us. The okay. the creatures in the history of Earth, both mm. in the sea and on land. <gasps> Yeah, okay, they might be the biggest creature on land, but I would love to see a whale try and survive on the ground. You can't be that impressive if you can't breathe. Just saying. You hear this? These are the I sounds heard it. fin whales are making to talk to their friends many miles away. Probably to plan an oof on a fish. The Sofar Channel or Deep Sea Channel that generally starts at 1,970 feet uh. but can vary in depth. It's a layer of water where the speed of sound is at its minimum and sound waves can go thousands of miles before disappearing. Uh. At the depth of 2,723 feet, we have reached the point where the Burj Khalifa, the tallest building in the world, would not even show its tip on the surface Whoa. if it were put underwater. Oh my gosh, that. that's huge. Now that is a big the building. Really interesting part of the ocean where no sunlight reaches us and strange creatures dwell. I thought we already were at that point. Mr. Submarine, sir, you ain't making that much sense. Kind of makes me question everything you've said. Are you lying to us? Are you making things up? Are you just trying to scare us to give us nightmares and never swim in water again? Because I already don't know how to swim on a good day in a small pool. So I swear, you put me in this ocean and I must say, oh shit. Oh snap. Oh snap. I'm scared. One of those is the giant squid. Ew. Yes, that legendary type. It inhabits the depths of 2,950 feet. Just imagine the creature with eyes the size of frisbees. Oh. Sperm whales hunt down these beasts, but they certainly can fight back. What a sight it would be to see such an encounter. Okay, I know I keep calling all of these fish gross and disgusting, but now I kind of feel bad because I do be loving eating seafood. Maybe I can't appreciate their looks, but I do be appreciating how they make my tummy feel. Mm-mm, good. At 3,600 feet, there's West Mata, <gasps> one of the deepest ocean volcanoes Ooh, in the world. Oh, the volcano! Its last eruption was in 2009. That is underwater. It was even filmed by a remotely operated that vehicle. That is literally erupting underwater. That's crazy. Feet down below, and we see the ferocious great white sharks. Oh, <gasps> I know those. These predators feel great at such a depth. Their eyesight is rather poor, and they navigate by scent, so they really don't need sunlight to hunt down their prey. I don't see you, but I'll still eat you. <laughs> what losers. Trying to hunt down his prey when he can barely see. Using only sound. Maybe that'll work for small creatures like shrimp and clams. But try hunting down another whale with that bad eyesight. I don't think it's possible. You see, little evil shark, you and me, we're not so different from each other. You can't hunt a whale. I can't hunt a whale. But we both got eaten by them. Fun. Also, the leatherback turtles. The largest leatherback turtles. turtles. Live at the same depth. <laughs> I wonder if they do it to tease the great whites. Oh, Why do they look so snakes? dark? Is That's it because they're under the ground? The Four thousand nine hundred feet. In the dark. Where darkness? the catch-all fishing method is used. Whoa! The nets are here to be dragged along the ocean floor, catching everything unfortunate uh -huh. enough to be caught. Like the shrimp I'll and clams. How detrimental this is to the ocean life here. Yeah, that's pretty sad. 6, Not gonna feet, lie. If we were in the Grand Canyon, we'd be sitting at its lowest and deepest point. Mm. Imagine that all the crevasses have been thoroughly filled with water, and you'll get the perfect picture. Now, if we're really careful, then at the depth of 6,600 feet, we'll be able to see the black dragonfish. Black dragonfish? A creature that dwells in the deep and dark parts of the ocean. And trust oh. me, it's better off staying right here. Tell me that this fish does not look like cartoon cat. I swear it does. I am not crazy. Maybe that's where he came from. But isn't cartoon cat actually a nice guy? And by the looks of this thing, that's pure evil. So maybe they're long lost cousins or something. Same family, but they're not really the same. You know what I mean? It looks like something from a horror movie. Mm -hmm. And I'd rather it never cross my path. Ew, don't get close to At me. 7,400 feet. We'll be saying goodbye to sperm whales. This is the <laughs> deepest point they can dive, and frankly, they have no real business at such a depth. Ciao, ciao. Maybe they hunt the black dragonfish, of course, Woo! or it hunts them. Nah, the difference in size is too big. Sperm whales can reach 62 feet in length, which makes them the largest toothed whales in the world. <gasps> Not Tooth many whales. creatures can counter <sighs> that. Now, at 15,000 feet, 15, the monsters feet. out of your worst nightmares pop up. Oh, no. Anglerfish, for example, will scare the heck out ah. of anyone. Its long oh. and crooked teeth, along with oh, a growth on its God. head that lures the prey, is what enough the to heck? instill fear even in the bravest. 
fish has a light on the top of his head to lure in other fish is pretty much the same as a creepy stranger trying to lure in kids with candy. That ain't right. And definitely not as tasty as candy. But perhaps even more terrible is oh. the creature called the black swallower. Swallower? It's an eel-like beast that has a very stretchy stomach and it can swallow prey that's twice its size. Oh. Here's the deepest fish ever found. <gasps> it's called a snailfish, Ooh. and it dwells at 26,000 feet. Whoa. Its body is translucent, so you can actually see right through its skin. It's see-through? Well, I must say, I'm glad we didn't <gasps> oh. turn off the lights after all. Why is this it so cute? This little guy is surprisingly cute yeah. for a creature that can withstand such pressure. There are shrimps and other invertebrates, not to mention microbes, that can dwell even in the deepest part of the ocean. Is that a Cheeto? That I swear, family, those are flaming hot Cheetos. And those blue ones, those are the new kind coming out next year. Frozen cold Cheetos. They'll make you freeze your tongue off. Yes, we've arrived at the very bottom of we the We got earth. to the bottom. Few people have been here, and very little is known about it yet. Family, we made it to the bottom. But apparently, there's still many more secrets. And to be honest, after seeing all that, I don't know if I want to find that out. Because it's scary. And something tells me it's also going to be fishy. And not in a good way. But anyways, family, that is all of the ocean that's deeper than you think video that I have for you today. If you liked today's video, don't forget to smash that like button. And if you want to join our amazing family, all you got to do is hit that subscribe button, turn on all post notifications, and then you won't miss any of our videos. I love you all so much. And I'll see you all in the next video.